Very nice. Thanks. That was big. That was big. Put a little pressure on him. Dude came to play today. Goodness. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, we're out here at Gentle Creek, yet again. I know a lot of my videos are out here, but the course is in amazing shape. It's a beautiful day out here, 8.30 in the morning, and we have a great guest on the channel today, Zach Radford. Appreciate you having yeah. me, excited for this match. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. First time I've ever played with you. Yep. And um, yeah, excited to see your game. Obviously I've watched on, on video here and there and uh, excited to see it in person. So. Yeah, looking forward to it. We've got a perfect morning for it, so. Unreal. Luckily, Zach also wanted to play nice and early this morning. Um, I'm an early riser. I know a lot of the good guys aren't, so it's nice to be able to play when the sun's coming up for a change instead of going down. So um, yeah, we're just gonna do a nine hole stroke play match on this front nine, um, obviously here on my channel, and then we're gonna do another match on the back nine for Zach's channel. So um, uh, make sure I will have Everything, his YouTube and all that in the description. So make sure you go check out his video whenever it comes out. But yeah, let's get this thing started. We're just playing straight up, nine holes, stroke play or match play? Your channel, so whatever you want to do. do. Let's do match play. Let's do match play. I think match play would be fun. See so yeah, nine holes, stroke, nine holes, match play. And yeah, let's get this thing started. All right, well, I'm gonna get this started off. Hole number one, General Creek, you've seen it before. Dog gig right, I'm gonna go driver, just right over the middle of that bunker. Yeah, good ball. Thank you. That is, I think, about perfect. That is, yeah. That, that's the line. And you even have room to the right, too. It's okay. There's some trees over there, but it's pretty open. Yep. I have no idea no. why I'm launching the ball so low right now, but it's going straight. It's, it's just nowhere. coming off super low. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was hit in the middle of the club face. Yeah. It's just launching at like six. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we got 92 yards here. A little tree trouble. So I've got to keep it down. Hmm. I got to keep it down like pretty good. I hate to say this, but I think I'm going to have to hit a nine iron. I really wish I didn't have to hit a nine iron, but we're going to have to. be a lengthy one right there that is going to be a lengthy one all right you got 61 yards oh wait are you wanting to play everything up today winter rules or yeah we're gonna play it's still winter time even though it's gonna be like 80 degrees out we'll, we'll still say it's winter time 60 what i say 61 yards uh kind of a dicey little shot just because there's not a ton of green to work with but i should be able to get the stop pretty quick get a little softy up there lob wedge Take that, that's what I had in mind. So see if I can go make that little five, six footer. All right, so <laughs> Brad's in there tight and this is not the putt you want to have on the very first hole. Things breaking about 10 feet. All right, see if we can't get something up there. Snuggle it up close. To be honest, I'm not like super disappointed with that. All right, I got, let's call it six feet here for my birdie. Pretty easy read it looks like. Should just be moving a little bit to the right. So just trust that read and putting a stroke on it. Wow, that's a tough foot start. I pulled it and I think it also moved a little left. All right, the door is slightly ajar here for the tie have on the hole so don't leave this putt short i'll take a two putt from over there all day long i don't know how i saw that moving right at all um all right that puts us that's two pars great two putt there like you said from zach uh from about 80 feet from the back of the green um yeah all square through one on to the next what's up everyone sorry to take you away from the video but as many of y'all know, I did, as a matter of fact, play in the Masters back in the day. And guess what? The Masters is back. Masters week is here. Finally, the best week of the year. And 
My sponsor, Underdog Fantasy, wants to make this week even more interesting. If y'all didn't already know, Underdog Fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. Playing their pick'em game is as simple as selecting higher or lower on player stats, such as birdies made, um, strokes, their finishing position, and so many more other stats. You can make entries of only golf, or you can also mix and match with all your other favorite sports. And you can also win up to 100 times your money, which is just crazy and it's so much fun. Underdog is also available in 30 plus states, including California, Texas, and even Canada. So I personally made some picks and I'm gonna leave this screenshot up for a little bit so y'all can see, but here are my picks for the Masters. New customers can also pair that with Scotty Scheffler to go higher than one stroke. That's right, all Scotty has to do is just get at least one stroke to win. Underdog will also be running a ton of different promos, bonus cash airdrops, specials, giveaways, and much more throughout the Masters week. So make sure you follow Underdog Picks on Twitter, or I guess it's called X now, so that you can stay updated on all of these giveaways and specials and everything that's going on, because I don't want you to miss out on that. So make sure you sign up with code BRAD and Underdog will double your first deposit of up to $100. That is Underdog Fantasy, promo code BRAD. All right, number two, 545 yard par five. Kind of a tricky drive. It looks a lot narrower than it is. Just kind of got to hit it down that left side and just trust it. Good drive here should, I think both of us should be able to get on the green too. So let's do that. Should be really good. Yeah, it might be. Is that too, too it's far like, It's like on the edge of being too far left, but I think that should be fine. Okay. I'd had about 1800 RPMs. <laughs> I'd had zero spin. <laughs> I don't know why. I've got 217, 208 over that bunker. This is kind of in between clubs for me because what wind is up there is like slightly into. I think we're just gonna go with a hard five. If we hit it good, it's, it's enough club. To be honest, I couldn't tell. Couldn't tell either. It was like a little left of the flag, um, but never saw it bounce, but didn't see it go in the bunker. I'm not sure. I am right next to where Zach was. I also have a five iron. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit right of the pin. But yeah, just a nice solid five iron. I think it should be the right number. Go, get back there. Yeah, I just caught a little toe. He didn't quite hit solid enough. Should be a pretty easy up and down, I think, from there. So, not a terrible shot. Just a little in solid. All right. Well, not. I thought maybe five iron wasn't enough. Zach's also came up pretty far short in the, in the bunker still, but it might have been a four iron. But if I hit that solid, maybe I would have gotten it there. Um, not overly difficult here. Got a good lie in the fairway. Got to kind of go over the edge of the bunker a little bit, but um, it hit a little high shot with a little bit of spin. Should be no issue. Sit this one close. Oh, very nice. Thank you, thank you. It's got some soft hands. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to. All right, so that's why I was yelling for it to go. We are short in the bunker. And Brad's up there, he's got a good look. So we need to get this up and down. Shot. Zach hit a very nice shot there from the bunker. It was not an easy shot he had, and he hit it just a little bit inside of me. So we got a couple five, six footers here for our birdies and try to just forget about the last one I hit. Make sure just to trust this read. I don't think it's too much. I think it's pretty straight. So knock this thing in. Hit a birdie. Uh, all right, I did not anticipate that. So. We've got to make this. Yep. Well, I need to start making those putts. He has two six footers missed on two five six footers missed on the first couple of holes. Not the greatest from me, but we'll figure it out. Um, Zach got a really nice up and down for birdie there. 
from the bunker so he goes one up through two holes moving on to number three par four all right number three 409 yard par four we were just talking about usually this hole is very downwind and get there pretty close to the green today there's no wind right now so a good drive probably puts a nice little sand wedge in or so yeah big fairway let's just go right down the middle of it Maybe right rough, but it's down there. Might be a little red ass on this one after those two missed putts. Let's see if I can get down there. Yeah, I get swing. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. All right, good start. See if we can actually make a putt this time for birdie on the rest of this hole. All right, I've got 65 yards here, and Brad's got like. 40 maybe 35 so he's in perfect position this shouldn't be too difficult of a little wedge shot here a little green to work with so let's knock it in there close yeah. all right all right i got about seven eight feet there for bird hit that drive good um had a little extra heat on it i was not very happy on the tee box but Give myself a little 40 yard pitch out here, plenty of green to work with. So I'm gonna try to hit a little low bump and run with the lob wedge. Try to get it to run back there close to the hole. Whoa. All right, not terrible. I was hoping for a little bit more checkup on it than that, but another six footer, so six, seven footer. All righty, a little bit further away than I thought from back there, but still about 12 feet maybe, maybe a little bit more. So straight up the hill, should be a pretty straightforward putt. Yep, very nice, thanks. That was big, that was big. Put a little pressure on him. All right, very good birdie there from Zach. Makes me have to uh, make this to, to tie the hole, make a birdie. Downhill, breaking left, good roll on, put a good roll on it. Good butt. Thank you. Very nice. Alright, well finally put a good stroke on one. Was able to get it to go down. Um, still one down through three. I'm one under. Zach is two under. On hole number four. Looks like it's gonna be a nice match. Alrighty, we've got a really good par four here. The number one handicap hole on the course. Fairly straightaway tee shot, but does bend to the right. 497. 497. Tee it high, let it fly. It. Should be good there. All right, yeah, just going driver at that right bunker. Yeah, good ball. Thank you. Oh, you're hitting your driver well today. Thank you. Yeah, the driver's been. All right, got 147. A little downhill. It's kind of asking a lot out of a pitching wedge. So we're going to go with a smooth old 9 iron. Oh, cut for me. Cut. Not our best iron shot right there. I was trying to play a little cut in there and just hit it dead straight. All right, um, good drive down here. Driver's feeling nice so far today. It has been lately, so I'm glad that's continuing. Um, 135 yards, got gap wedge, 50 degree. Should be the perfect number, so I think it's just a full one. Just hopefully land right on top of the hole. Sit down. That is like a chunk flyer, I feel like. Sit. Yep. A little like a chunk. Just chunky enough where there's enough grass between the ball and the club. Has no spin. Because that gap wedge just flew like 142. Well, that was a disappointing wedge shot. That's that's tough. The grass is still a little wet in the fairway and it's one of those just weird where you just catch it a touch chunky. Grass gets between the club and the ball, and it just has no spin and flies forever. That's all right. I can still, got a pretty easy up and down here, so let's just hit a good chip shot close and make our par and see what Zach does. Sit. 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 All right, not terrible. It's pretty quick down the hill. Get another six, seven footer, so 
How about front four? All right, I got about, I don't know, 40 feet here, 35 feet, something like that. I feel like my depth perception early is not great, so somewhere in there. I thought that was in the entire way. Thanks. Oh, that was kind of painful because about two feet short, I thought it was in the heart. <laughs> I thought it was kind of low at the start and it hung in there and I was like, oh, that's 100% in. And wow, that was a great putt there by Zach. I thought he made birdie on me. Yeah, now I got this six, seven footer again, breaking left, save my par and tie the hole. Wow. Thought the thing was gonna snap. Just kind of hung out there at the end. That's a tough bogey with the with the wedge in the hand. Um, yeah, that puts the match. I'm two down through four holes, five holes left. Zach's playing some good golf. I need to I need to step it up. I need to start making some birdies. Yeah, see if I can start in the next hole, par three, number five, par three, 164 yards today. This pin is in the front left, which I feel like we never see this pin location. It's always front right or back right. It seems like so. Yeah, we're uh, Zach's gonna get us started off here. I got nine iron in hand, not sure what he has, but I need to make a birdie. I'm gonna go with a little eight iron here. Can't really tell what the wind's doing. And since that pin's in the front, don't wanna be short. So we've got some room behind that flag. All one? Actually? <laughs> <laughs> that landed and I thought that actually was going I, to go. I did too. <laughs> Holy. I thought it was going to bounce forward a little I bit did more. Too. I honestly did too. Great shot. That was striped. Yeah, I'm trying to follow that. I got nine iron. You have to put a little heat on this one, I think, but yeah, let's try to hit. It's just copy paste Zach right there. That looks Not good. Super high. Getting left. Yeah. Nice right. shot. Thanks. You went a little higher than I'm used to, but it worked out. All right, well, neither of these balls were as close as we thought from the tee. The pin was a little further back behind that hill than we thought, but um, I got about 20 feet. Breaking right up the hill, might stop breaking a little bit at the end. Just dial in speed and pace and the uh, line. See somehow I can get this thing to fall. Gotta hit it. That's good. All right, a couple feet closer. And like Brad was saying, these are not as close as we thought from the tee, but see if we can't put a good roll on it and uh, keep the pressure on. Not sure what I saw there. That putt was dead straight. I, I also saw a little bit left at the end. I thought that thought. was gonna be going left, but all right, par. No worries. Yeah, two pars for us. That means Zach stays two up through five holes. Four holes left, obviously. On to the next. Better start making birdies. I might need to make an eagle on this next one. It's par five. All right, we're on number six here. It's par five. Good little par five. If we hit a good tee ball, we should be able to get there in two. 541. There's a bunker down the left side. We're going to be trying to kind of take it over that corner. Yep. Money. All right, give that a little thumbs up right there. That was right where we were aiming. Brad will probably hit it about 45. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for a little draw on this one. Try to aim it kind of the left edge of that right bunker. And just draw it back to the left side. That should be real good, right? Yeah, that's it. No, that was what I was worried about. Oh, hit a little bit toey, kind of fell out of the air. If that carried the bunker, that would've gone a long way, but. That's not going to be too good of a spot. Probably going to be a layup from there. All right, well, I got um, extremely lucky. Y'all probably saw it. I did not. I saw the splash in the lip of the bunker and apparently hopped out right here. So I got 255 to the pin uphill, about five yards, makes about 260. A little back into the breeze. I think it's going to be, it's going to have to be a three wood. The pin is all the way back there in that little back right section. I'm going to do my best to get this ball just somewhere in that little area where I can have an easy putt or easy up and down. It was also my second time ever hitting this three wood. I just got it with this new Ventus shaft. Um, my first time was in a good, good video with drunk goggles on. So <laughs> I chunked the crap out of it. So hopefully this one will actually be good. Be 
good. Well, I couldn't see it land. It's going in the middle of the greens. Either, either caught that slope and got pretty close, or it might have just got in the back bunker. So, we'll see. That looked really good. We couldn't see it down, so we're not entirely sure, but it was struck very well. I've got 230 here, going with a three iron. A little maybe puff of breeze into and a little uphill, so let's make a good swing. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, well, that three would have some heat on it because I even hit a little cut on purpose just to try to take a little bit off and um, and it cut and it still got back here a pretty good way. So I got a pretty tricky bunker shot on the down slope here, a lot of bunker to cover and not a whole lot of green to work with. But if I can just hit it solid, put a little spin on it, I think I should be able to handle it. So yeah, I need, hit, need to hit a good shot here because that just hit an amazing shot to about 12 feet for Eagle. So I gotta make birdie. Not terrible, it's landed a little too far, but that's a tough shot. Give myself a good little 10 foot or so for birdie. That was the iron we were looking for right there. What club did you hit there? Uh, that was a three iron, just trying to flight it high so it didn't land yeah. too firm. Got a little height on it. My pitch mark was actually just about five feet short of where it ended up. And that's what we were hopeful for there. Right on the number. This would be a fun little eagle here. So let's just put a good roll on it. That was big right there. That was big. Dude came to play today. Goodness. All right, well, this means nothing, but I'm gonna see if I can just go ahead and make this for my bird. Oh, All right. Um, I put Zach three up, three to go. The dude is playing some golf right now. What are you now, four under, stroke play? I think so. Yeah, he's got a good round going, so very nice eagle from him there. Three holes left, I mean, he's dormy. I gotta, I better get, I better get things going here real quick. So see if I can do that. All right, number seven, par four. It is 425 yards. Dog leg left. Zach is obviously gonna be going first because he has honors. I've got a plan on that. I need to make three birdies in the last three holes and hope Zach doesn't make a birdie or else it'll be game over. So I better get something going and uh, better start getting that putter rolling. We're gonna try to keep the pressure on. So we're gonna be aiming just left of this tree here, driver and uh, see if we can't get another bird. I never saw that. Uh, Left edge of the bunker. <laughs> Float the middle of the bunker. I think it's just gonna be in that very bunker. Okay. That was flary. All right, just going driver, just kind of over, just barely left of this tree that's by itself, about 100 yards in front of us. We're gonna draw, Brad, sit down. Sit down. Probably just be up to kind of in those trees a little bit. Might be a little blocked out, but we'll see. It's pretty open over there. All righty, I've got 125 here. That was really tough to see our balls down. And so I stayed just to the left of that bunker. And I'm gonna go with the sandwich here. Sew this in there close, put some pressure on them. All right, it's up there. All right, um, well, I did not, I knew my drive was gonna be kind of in these trees. I, it was like two yards from being OB. Uh, luckily it stayed in. And actually, luckily I kind of have a shot. I have 90 yards, I might have to hood the face a little bit and just hit a little kind of high draw over this branch, but um, it's definitely doable. I can get this close, I gotta make birdie, so. Sit, 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 sit. Stay there. All right, I did not think I was gonna be able to get left of that pin, but not a bad shot. About 15, 16 feet for my birdie. Had to make that, so I'll see if I can clutch up and start making some birds. All right, got about 40 feet here probably, 45 feet maybe. And if this were to drop, it would be for the match. But I'm just wanting to put a good roll on it. From this distance, you know, just good roll. If we'd hit it, that was a pretty good line. Well, I got about 20 feet here, breaking hard right. 
Um, I mean, Zach has a little two and a half footer left, but gotta assume he's gonna make that. So I need to make this to keep the match going. Thanks. That was a good putt. I can't really complain about that. I thought that was in the entire way. Just kind of stopped moving. All right, now Zach's got a little two and a half footer and win the match. Very nice. Enjoyed it? Enjoyed it, sir. Yeah, thanks for coming on the channel. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. That was of fun. Of course. It was, uh, man, you played some golf. Four under through seven holes. Tough to beat. <laughs> Tough to beat. I wish I could have put it a little better, missed some, missed some of those six footers that, you know, just don't quite have the confidence I usually do on right now, but uh, we'll get that all figured out. Hell of a seven holes that he played, and um, what was that, three and two victory. And now we're about to go start up another match. That's right. All of his details will be in the description below, and um, make sure to go check out his channel, subscribe if you have not already, and go make sure to check out whenever our video comes out on his. And uh, thanks again for coming out. I uh, really appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel too. If you have not already, make sure to give this video a like. Yeah, make sure that notification bell too, because we have some very exciting videos coming out and um, you don't want to miss those. So thanks again. Peace. See you.